Here's a sample of Britain's preparedness. The sea fort rising formidably out of the water at the harbour's mouth. A glimpse of the life of its garrison may reassure us and make us more contented with our own job in the fight for freedom. The motto of the Royal Artillery is ubique, everywhere. And here they are in the middle of the sea. Their hours of duty are simple. Out of the 24, they do um, uh, uh, 24. Their one link with the outside world being the daily visit of the ration boat. The main street of our unusual island is precisely 14 feet wide. You soon get to know it. Still, if it becomes monotonous, you can always go below and take a brisk walk round the magazine. You'll find lots to interest you, notably the engine that pumps the fresh water from your own artesian well, specially sunk to springs beneath the seabed. After the water supply, the most important element in a modern port is electric power. Power for lighting and equipment, power for the anti-aircraft searchlights, and for operating the horizontal coastal defense beams. And here's what would make an admirable air raid shelter. But for the occupants already installed there, the officer's mess is not elaborate. Army and Navy share the same small dining room and the still small alarm. But the officers haven't gone mad. This is what they do for exercise. No matter who wants to be quiet, somebody always wants exercise. Shiver my timbers. If an officer wants to be alone, he can always go to the privacy of his quarters. There are only two other occupants. In the men's barrack room, there are rather more. On a sea fort, you don't have day and night. You have three watches. The watch off is your spare time, so you sleep. Until some silly ass feels like getting up. Here, these are your blinking pants. One of the three big moments of the day, dinner. The other two are breakfast and tea. Eyes front, orderly officer. Any complaints? Rather not. The grub's absolutely wizard. Too many cooks may spoil the broth, but they're safe for the jam tart. And the head cook does all the really creative work. The architecture of the fort is a happy mixture of the uh, domestic, uh, the severely practical, and the formidable. The Royal Artillery undertakes a sea defense from central fire and battery control. Above is the RN station. The air defense of the fort is in the care of anti-aircraft detachment, which also operates the anti-aircraft searchlights. The technical equipment of the fort is naturally in the hands of the Royal Engineers, a remarkable example of cooperation between many services. Day and night, the watch has been kept now since the war began. The relief emerges from the shelter near the gun in which the watch on spend their eight hours on duty. The men spend their long spell of waiting as best they may. Newspapers, cards, and uh, to sleep for a chance to dream. Air alarm. Elevation, sight. Down, down half, right six, ha! And now the final test. Sea alarm, attack from the sea. The watch on dash from their shelter and man the heavy coastal defense guns. The watch and reserve rush from the barrack room. Zero degrees. Right eight. Drop off. On target. Fire. Huh? 
imagination this time. But every moment the garrison must be prepared for reality. Meanwhile, time passes somehow in the port. 